All right, guys, I know y'all are all interested to see what's in the box. Does this give you a hint? Nine millimeter. Good buddy of mine, good friend at work. Um, he has a lot of nice guns, and he's a uh, kind of a little camera shy so he didn't want to make any videos he said I got a couple of guns I'd like to send your way to a T&E make a few videos with and see what you think about them as we know it says XDM this is the XDM 5.25 and 9 millimeter Comes with three. Look in the box and we'll see. Right. Paddle style holster. We got one on the gun and two that come with it. The different uh, adjustable grips. Comes with three magazines, something Springfield does uh, on a lot of their pistols, and these are 18 round magazines. Excuse me, <laughs> 19 round magazines. Comes with three magazines, double mag uh, pouch, Picatinis on the side, even the uh, case is Picatinny, and uh, little um, mag loader but on to the good stuff let's set the box aside he even sent me 100 rounds of ammo to try out with the gun it is the XD 9 5.25 it's a very sweet shooting gun Give you a little bit of look see down the sights. Uh, it does have, like I said, it carries a 19 plus one capability. Uh, has a match grade. As you can see right here, has a match grade, 5.25 inch barrel. Uh, it's got the melanited finish. And the good thing about these uh, XDs, as you know, you can put the uh, cartridge in it and you can shake it and you don't hear anything rattling because it does have a fully supported feed ramp has a uh, fiber optic red sight uh, just a standard black target rear gives a really nice sight picture it's made from a slides forged steel overall length we're looking at 8.3 inches the whole total length of the gun the height we're looking at 5.75 and it's a 29 ounce 29 ounce firearm with an empty mag installed um, they do offer these in uh, a bi-tone like a stainless steel and black this one is in the all melanite finish um, I will grab my uh, little XD and kind of give you a size comparison all right I'll show you the size difference in the uh, as you can see you got a good three inches in overall length and this is the XD subcompact 40 uh, they make a nine millimeter the exact same size but that you can look there is a drastic difference in the size this is more of your carry gun I have shot a couple of IDPA matches with this and done fairly successful you know but you gotta figure out was shooting against guns like this full length competition guns this one does have a custom trigger job done on it As you can look it has a very light trigger I think he said that uh he did the trigger job himself and he got it down to about two two and a half pounds 
we will uh, strip her down. Yeah, it's just like any other XD. You just flip up the little lever, let you slide forward, point in a safe direction, pull the trigger. You can slide the slide out. I have to say, these full size guns, they should. They should shoot. I haven't shot one of these yet. I have shot a uh, compact size XD, but and an XDM9 in a compact size. But these full size really fill out your hands, and uh, I like this grip on here really well. You can just knock this pin out right here and change your back straps. But basically, you've got the same internals as any other XD. Other, except with the exception of he put the uh, aftermarket trigger in. I can't remember the name of it. He told me, but it served me well. We'll take the gun out. It doesn't have a captured guide rod. And uh, I'll just show you. You got your regular spring. Now, this is not your traditional guide rod in here. He has an aftermarket weight where it has the uh, brass then it has another spring then it has the weight inside it um, this is uh, I, this, it, I'm told that it's supposed to give you a little bit more forward weight on the gun to control with the muzzle flip for uh, easier back on targets for your second shot um, but I can't attest to that because I haven't fired this gun yet. I'm going to sit that to the side. Here's the match grade barrel. And if we take apart the subcompact, you can be able to see, which it does have the uh, capture uh, rod spring. You can see a big difference in the length. Well, this one is a 40, and this is a 9. That extra bit of a um, barrel sure does help with the overall length of the pistol, giving you a lot better sight picture. Let's throw this thing together. I thought I'd give you all a quick look, peek, see of this firearm because it is not it is not mine I do not own it um, I, I would like to get me a new firearm for uh, when I do shoot matches because a little subcompact it, it makes it a whole lot more of a challenge um, So, this is a compensated model, but you got to think if you're going to shoot a match and you've got a short barrel pistol, you don't have a very large sight picture. It's very short. Whereas with this one, you have a pretty awesome sight picture. I really love the uh, red uh, <clears throat> fiber optic front sight. Stands out real good with the rear and uh, compensated barrel. This thing should be a real shooter. This is one of uh, one of the firearms that a lot of people do use for um, IDPA con uh, competitions. XDM 5.25 9mm. But I figured I'd give y'all a little look see at it. We're going to uh, do some shooting with this thing probably tomorrow. So I'll get some videos up as quick as I can. And uh, Tim, you know who you are. Thanks for uh, passing this gun off to me. To make a few videos uh, I hope I do you justice in what you want to see because I do have another firearm that 
going to make a video next on that he actually wants to see these pitted against each other and see how they stack up. Alright, I'm going.